Previously on We Wanderlust Co. We're diving deeper into Georgetown, Penang. Yesterday we explored Kekloksi Temple, which also happens to be Malaysia's largest Buddhist temple. Then, plot twist, we stumbled into spice-infused Little India. Italy, samosas, vada, madras coffee, and our first biryani fried rice. But today's the real showstopper. We're hiking through a 130 million year old forest at the Habitat Penang Hill. It's like Jurassic Park, minus the dinos. It's a wild party here with 2,500 plant and animal species as our guests. Perched on the UNESCO Penang Hill Biosphere Reserve, we're feasting our eyes on jaw-dropping city panoramas. Oh, and street food alert, we're diving into our first roadside satay and kampung fried rice. Spoiler, it's life-changing. Should we move here? Smash that subscribe button faster than I inhale that satay. Let's get into the vlog. He wants to be the very top. He wants to be the baby, guys. We are currently here in Penang Hill. It's a rainforest discovery center, and we're surrounded by 2,500 species of flora and fauna. We've actually made our way up in the funicular, which was actually built in 1937, super old. And Penang Hill was first built as like a retreat away from the lower half of Penang for colonial officials. They kind of made a resort up here you know, so they could kind of get away from the heat down there and come up here and relax. But now it's a discovery center and we are currently at the habitat and we're going to go check it out. We are in the forest. We are totally deep in the forest because uh, all you hear is jungle sounds, uh, <laughs> so nice. sounds of crickets. There's so many birds around, so many little insects too. So you see a lot of ants, beetles, and definitely talking about flora and fauna, it's a lot of species. Like just within this wall alone, mm -hmm. different species there. They have uh, QR codes on them too. So if you guys are into that, oh, yeah. um, you can learn go ahead more about the plants. Yeah, yeah. That is called a necklace orchid. It looks like a very elegant, extravagant necklace. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like we kind of have it all to ourselves because not all that people uh, come to the habitat. Yeah. For one, the ticket is like 55 ringgit, I think, at the counter. Okay. Uh, but it's much uh, less expensive online where we bought the tickets. I'll link it down below. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, not a lot of people explore this part. I have not Penang seen Hill. a person in a really long time. Yeah. Yeah. It's so cool. But it's nice. You can be at your leisure, spend as yeah. little or as much time as you'd like, as you'd like here, yeah. and just enjoy the nature sounds. I'd say though, jungle sounds are very prominent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like all different types of sounds. We don't know yeah. if some of them might be like monkeys. And we've seen like the different type of monkeys. Monkeys, yeah. Um, I don't know what they're called. Uh, very native or actually local to uh, the Malaysian hills. Uh, definitely the macaques. Mm. Uh, but then we've seen this other one that's kind of greeted us by the entrance as soon as we got off the funicular. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of jumping around. Um, it was so cute. Yeah. It looked like it had like raccoon eyes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah. super cute. Super Very cute. agile <laughs> as they're jumping across different trees. I don't know if I mentioned, this rainforest is 130 million years yeah. old. Compare that yeah. to the Amazon, which is at least 55 million years old. So you can just imagine yeah, it's how like, much flora and fauna exists here yeah is that right? that's what 3x the yeah. length yeah. i mean that's uh almost yeah just imagine how old this place is and if you guys happen to have gone to the amazon forest kind of think of it as three times as older yeah Can you it? wow yeah. but i'm glad that they built this right yeah you, initially they had built it as, as a resort but it's so nice that they built like a couple of canopy walks mm -hmm. and like uh some of the attractions here just so regular people like us could come and enjoy, it, enjoy yeah, and yeah. kind of be within the the forest forest yeah to actually go to a forest you're going to be walking on the forest floor right mm -hmm. but the fact that it's paved and you know kind of get to experience it in that way and walk the canopy yeah. uh so it's it's a good way it's, I, I, I'm, I, I really like it already um but uh, it, we yeah, love it's, nature if you yeah. know us you know we love yeah. nature yeah. and this is where we feel it's, most a, it's a good introduction to a uh, forest Yes, yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, good thing that you said that they have like a whole bunch of placards and informational mm -hmm. boards or whatever, yeah. and even QR codes, mm -hmm. so you could just learn as you go. I think it'd be a great place for like families and to bring your kids. Yeah, uh, they actually encourage strollers, so it's stroller friendly. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know. So, that's 
That's cool. Yeah. One thing I really like about here is you get lots of shade. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, like out in town or like the lower part, there's barely any shade when you're walking around. Mm -hmm. ah, this is a nice respite. It's nice, yeah. There are like four stages to a forest. Mm -hmm. Forest floor, something else, and then on the very, the very top. So, the canopy, yeah. yeah, the canopy. So uh, it shows a different uh, ecosystem that exists within those floors. Uh, or within those levels, so uh, this one feels balanced. Yeah, yeah. it's so nice. Yeah, nice the amount of shade like and, and sun. Fresh yeah. and crispy, even though there's some yeah. humidity. I think they're just saying hello. Yeah, we're yeah. in their home. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> now leave. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think the mosquitoes are having a mosquito fest right now on me. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we kind of ran out of uh, our mosquito repellent and I've yet to go to buy some but if you are coming here please be sure to like either cover up or if you're wearing like a dress or shorts and things like me uh, just uh, make sure you put your mosquito repellent on there's a lot of mosquitoes here. <laughs> to the Curtis Walk. I feel like this is like the main attraction of the Forest Park. Oh my god. You're kidding me? Look <laughs> at the views. Wow. Oh wow. Guys, I forgot that we were going to get some very nice panoramic views from here. Wow. I was just thinking, oh what a nice, you know, canopy walk this would be. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you are greeted with some stunning views wow. of it, Penang. It's pretty stunning. Wow. Yeah. You can see the, the bridge, right? Yeah. Wow. And on top of that, no pun intended, <laughs> this place is actually 2,700 feet. Mm. So, uh, you also show how tall this place is. Wow. Yeah. I think yeah. we can kind of see like... The entire bridge. The entire bridge. And yeah. actually you can see the Penang mainland. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and actually some islands over there too in the back. Loving the views and the and beautiful breeze. Beautiful breeze, nice and cooling. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Wow. All right, guys, you are here with us virtually, but let's go for a walk. Yes. Ooh, look at that. So cool. Interesting fact here it says after senior government officials built bungalows near. Bel Retiro, the upper reaches of Penang Hill, developed into a British enclave where officials retreated from the heat, as I said earlier, of the plains and entertained visitors. However, other races were forbidden from building here. Mm, we don't like that, <laughs> but thanks. Thank God it's over. Yeah. The views here, which stretch as far as the island of Langkawi oh, yeah. and to mainland Kedah, have been enjoyed for over 200 years. So Let's see if we can find it. <laughs> It's funny because I don't know if that's Langkawi. Really? That, that one? Like the small one? No, I, I feel like the big one right here. Really? It's funny, we have to look at the map on what the small one is because if there's a small island. Or actually that could be Kera, maybe like, you know, when you take the ferry yeah. over. So Langkawi could be like kind of in the distance. Maybe. Can't really see it because <laughs> of the hazy yeah. day today. But uh, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We are pretty high up, so. Yeah. Actually, uh, this is my first time looking down. I know. I, I, I wanted to ask you, hey, look down. I just <laughs> did the same, and I was like, ooh, we're kind of high, aren't we? We are at the Langur Canopy. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful canopy walk down. You can see so much down below. of the plants here. Yeah. Look at all the beautiful ferns over there. There's a palm trees. Forest and biodiversity is so important. I just can't believe we're, we actually get a chance to be, be humans and be here uh -huh. in, uh, amongst the 130 million year old rainforest. How was the walk? Such a beautiful walk. You could spend a lot of time there, kind of uh -huh. just, you know, taking in the, 
the views all around you and all the sounds. Mm -hmm. It's so peaceful. So we have this really good saute place right across from where we're staying. Yeah. And it's called Hamid Saute. And today we're going to be trying some saute, some beef and chicken, and some kampung fried rice, and whatever else they have. So we'll go and see. Let's go. Guys, this is the uh, Limao Sejuk. 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 So, or ice. Uh, it's called <coughs> cold lime juice. And our friend there, he helped us to order one of these, so. Oh my god. The refreshing. So good. Really? Yeah. It's not lemon juice, it's lime juice, so you can tell the difference. Kind of like calamansi a little bit. Nice. Very nice. Refreshing. It's gonna go great with our kampung fried rice, it's yeah. spicy. We just come it up in a bit. So we have kampung fried rice being put over there. And then our saute comes from there. <laughs> Guys, everybody uh, at the restaurant were uh, choking from all the chilies uh, being cooked in the back. I feel like it's from our dish, but <laughs> it looks good. The kampung fried rice paired up with a side of uh, lemon lime, actually lime juice. It all came out to 10 RM, 7 and 3. That's a little over 217 US, 2017. So good, you can go Pretty good deal. All right, we are literally physically on the side of the street having uh, some delicious food here at the uh, two street food stalls. And so we've gotten our kampung rice, which uh, has chicken. Seems to have anchovies like cooked with the rice. And then some veggies, which look like morning glory. And some chilies, and I guess a lot of uh, spice. And they have like sambal on the side with some cucumbers. but. Let us try our first kampung fried rice. Oh my god. What? Mm. <laughs> so good. Bursting with flavor. It's so delicious. Really? However, it's a bit spicy. And I'm thinking, what seems doesn't do too well with spice. But good luck to you. I'm going to have... It's so good we might even order a second one. So we just got our chicken and beef sautés with some cucumber and onions on the side. I'm super excited because the sautés actually don't look fatty. So if you love your meats lean, it's going to be nice and lean, looks juicy, and like very succulent. I haven't tried these yet. And we have a side of peanut sauce. We got, yeah, uh, supposedly the peanut sauce is really good. So we'll see about that. I'm going to start off with the chicken sauté. I think I'll try it without the peanut sauce first. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. Wow. Very lean, but nice and sweet. It's like a sweet barbecue. What is it? But it feels like a pineapple sauce, probably like glazed with it yeah. and then uh, grilled. But now let's see with the peanut sauce. a nice nuttiness um, to the chicken but it's still more sweet than savory yeah that's quite interesting I would expect some chicken to be savory <laughs> now we're gonna try the beef saute in Malay it's called daging so I've been loving my daging here in Malaysia mm. Mm. same so it's not overly smoky or it has that grilled taste it's just like a, a light grill and it's pretty sweet. Like I feel like the glaze is some, like, somewhat like a pineapple glaze. So it tastes almost the same as a chicken. You can't really tell that this is beef. Yeah, it's very interesting. But it's nice and lean. So yeah, don't be worried about like fats or like if it's more fats or whatever. But meat is nice and lean. Yeah. Let's try it with the beef. It's a uh, Real good. Same. It has more of a peanut, peanutty flavor. So once you dip it into the peanut sauce, the peanut overtakes the taste of both of the meats. Yeah. But it's definitely more on the sweeter side. So if you like your meats like kind of barbecued that way, like a sweet barbecue, then you're definitely going to love this. Or if you like pineapples, because it tastes like pineapple sauce. Yeah. Next on We Wanderless Co. 
we are currently here at the Clan Jetties of Penang. It is a traditional overwater settlement with a living community there. There's about 75 people. We are going to go check out the Chu Jetty, which is one of the more popular and more welcoming to tourists. So let's go. This is our first time trying chendol in over two and a half months. 